This is a guided reading for chapter 11, section 2. Go ahead and open up your book to page 293. And to begin, read from the start of 293 until you get to the equation about three quarters of the way down where it says mechanical energy of a system. So go ahead and pause. Welcome back. While you were reading, one of the things uh, that they discussed was a closed and isolated system for energy to be conserved. Uh, you haven't had a really good definition for this yet, but a closed system is one in which no mass is gained or lost. So basically, if you pick two cars as your system, you're not going to allow a chunk of the car to fly off uh, or allow something to fly in. So the, the mass of the objects that are in your system must remain the same. So that's no gain or loss in mass. That's what is meant by closed. Isolated, we have talked about before. Isolated means the external forces are zero or there's no outside forces acting on the system. If that's the case, energy is conserved. Now for mechanical energy to be conserved, it gets a little bit trickier than that, but for just in general, for energy to be conserved, if you have an isolated closed system, that's it. It's got to be conserved. Uh, so go ahead now and read from where you stopped on page 293 until you get to, on page 294, until you get to where it says roller coasters. So read up until right before it says uh, roller coasters. So go ahead and pause. Welcome back. Uh, as you read there, that was simply an example problem of applying conservation of mechanical energy. And it's important to realize that that's assuming that there's no other types besides Ke and Pe going on in the problem. So there, it's just it, the energy is either Ke or Pe at any given time, uh, or a mixture of the two. Nothing, nothing else. No internal energy. No rotational, etc. Uh, also, at the very end of what you're reading there for the example, it said how you could figure out uh, the uh, kinetic energy for an object that rolled down an incline where you didn't even know what theta was, that the path did not matter. As long as you knew the change in height, you could figure out what the new Ke would be. Uh, therefore, kinetic energy or conservation of mechanical energy in conjunction with kinetic energy and potential energy can allow us to solve problems where we don't even know what the angle of a hill is. So sometimes you can rely on either conservation of energy or motion equations. Sometimes you have to use conservation of energy because you don't have enough information to get the other parts. Uh, go ahead now and so no theta, no problem with conservation of energy. Now go ahead and read from roller coasters to the end of page 295 and then stop. All right, welcome back. Uh, there are a bunch of examples there of conservation of energy, which we'll talk about in class as well. And at the very end of 295, uh, they called something thermal energy, which we will in the coming chapters call internal energy. Uh, and that is another type of energy. So if the mechanical energy of a system is going down. Uh, some students have asked, where does it go? Well, sound, internal energy, other forms uh, that we may not account for uh, in our conservation mechanical energy problems. But to a good approximation, if we're neglecting air resistance and friction and we don't have any collisions or anything, we, sh we should be okay. All right. Go ahead and – oh, I'm sorry. That was it.